Welcome back. It's time now for On the Radar, where we ask an investing professional what they're looking at in today's markets. We're back again with Colin Szczynski, Chief Market Strategist at SIA Wealth Management. And Colin, you said that since the last time you've been with us here on the street, client portfolios at SIA have gone back to all cash positions. Uh, that's correct. SIA Wealth is a tactical manager, and that means that over time we 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 will move uh, positions depending on uh, on market conditions from anywhere between 100% uh, equity or 100% cash, and sometimes in between. So back in and it depends a lot on market conditions because we look to take advantage of opportunities when they're there and to manage risk during times of volatility and uncertainty. So we've seen a lot of the this year. We had. Uh, over the course of a year, we had uh, reduced equities from uh, from approximately 100% in early 21 to uh, to zero by uh, by June of this year. Then, as market conditions improved in the summer, we went back to about 50% uh, investment in uh, in equities. And then, more recently, we've seen the market conditions deteriorate once again, particularly last in the last couple of weeks. First, we had the uh, the consumer pr uh, high consumer price index reading, and then, of course, we had last week's hawkish Fed news and. And based on that, uh, a number of our indicators suggested to us that markets are getting more volatile again. So last, uh, over the last few days, we exited all uh, equity positions and returned to 100% cash and short-term bonds. This is clearly a call that equity markets, uh, SIA believes equity markets are headed uh, further south. Uh, it's certainly a, a time of higher uncertainty, and we're seeing that this week. We had a, uh, a big sell-off yesterday. Now we're seeing a, uh, a bounce today, but there's been no change in uh, in fundamentals. So we asked the question, are we at a bottom, or is this just a trading bounce? And and as we look forward, there's still a lot of uncertainty out there and, and potential for, uh, for volatility. October has historically been one of the most volatile months of the year for stocks, often with, uh, with markets weakening in the first half and bouncing back uh, in the Second, we've seen uh, we've seen significant drops in October's. We've seen uh, significant market bottoms happen in October's. So uh, at this point in time, there's just a lot of uncertainty. There's uh, the upcoming confession and, and earnings season is particularly significant. Have markets priced in uh, enough of a slowdown? And, and how much is the economy slowing down? And, and we're still not sure how far central banks are going to keep raising interest rates either. And of course, we've we've talked about the turmoil in currency markets and economies. So there's a lot out there for investors to digest right now and, and a lot of risk out there. Some people we talk to are uh, say that we may get a rally in the in the U.S. markets post the uh, U.S. midterm elections in November. Do you put any stock in that? It's definitely a possibility looking at a, at a combination of seasonality and the pre presidential cycle. Markets oft have had major lows in the past near midterm elections, most notably back in uh, in 2002, 20 years ago. I think a lot of people will still remember that one. And uh, and so it is possible you could get swings. And, and part of being a tactical investor is I speak to how we we manage risk when things are uncertain. But at the same time, if markets turn around, we, we remain ready to go back in when and uh, opportunities present themselves. What, uh, what would it take uh, you and your colleagues at, at, at SIA to begin moving more client money into the equity markets? Well, we certainly look at a, a number of, uh, of indicators that are based on uh, on capital flows, on the uh, the relative strength of performance between asset classes, between between bonds, between currencies, between equities, and uh, and cash as well. And and as we see the uh, the changes in capital flows uh, occur, then uh, then we'd be ready to take action. And why have you not left any money in uh, sectors, perhaps like energy, where there's a fairly uh, there's a, f a fair bit of strong uh, sentiment, and, and that sector has clearly outperformed the broader markets. Well, it's interesting you mentioned that. Right now, we're in the uh, the more uh, the more our, our indicators are more bearish. But when they're more neutral, as they uh, as they were through uh, through the first half of this year in particular, that was exactly what we did. Where we had uh, we were carrying a, a partial equity position, and uh, actually we were uh, holding a, a significant number of energy stocks because within equities they were showing strong relative strength. And that's also in the summer as well. We had a number of uh, of equity positions until they started to. Uh, deteriorate recently as well.